Well, it's been a long time in the making, but I'm here to announce that I've officially launched my new online course for Premiere Pro called Premiere Pro Full Throttle. Whether you're brand new to the software or you've been editing for some time now, this course pretty much has everything you need to be successful inside the software. It has over six hours of video lessons inside of it, but what I wanted in this video to do is go over what's inside the course and show you kind of how it's set up. That way, if you're interested, you can check it out. All right, so the course is actually on my website. That's where I plan to host it, So, but it's under the Learn tab. So if you're on my website and you go to the Learn tab, you should see the online course for Premiere Pro. When you scroll down, you have access to the course. So if you've already purchased it, you can access it here. Or if you need to purchase it, you can click on this button to the right and you can go ahead and purchase the online course. So once you enter in your password, you are brought into the course and this is what it looks like. So you have an intro welcome video at the top with some outlines. And right here, this is where you can go to download the media assets by clicking on this button here. Now, if we scroll down, there's three different sections inside the course. Section one is all about the fundamentals, and this goes over the basics of each panel, essentially, and how to do basic tasks inside Premiere Pro, basically setting up your project. Section two is actually editing a Premiere Pro project from start to finish. So in the media assets that I'm providing, you're editing one of my podcast episodes that I recently put together. So you'll have those assets to put together and follow along inside the course. And then section three is all about accelerating your video editing inside Premiere Pro. So this is more after you get done with your initial video, how can you build upon your skills and really how to improve and enhance your editing techniques inside the software. But just to show you, so these are hyperlinked and it shows the time code next to it. So if you're considering watching a video lesson, you can see like this one here is 26 minutes and 58 seconds. So it gives you a good overview of how long that would be. Now to access it, you can just click on it and you go inside the course. And once you're inside, you see the video lesson at the top that you can play and watch back. And then you have reference links below. So anything I mention to download, you can download it there. If you scroll down, you'll notice that each video lesson comes with kind of a transcription or kind of a summary of the main things that I go over. So in this lesson specifically, it's about the common effects and transitions inside the software. And it kind of gives, if you're a more of a reader and you like to read kind of like manuals more, it gives like an overview of in a text format essentially. So this can be helpful, if, especially if you just want to quickly reread different sections and learn about different things. This is a good area to go if you want to utilize that. At the bottom, usually there's a summary or the key takeaways, but that's inside a video lesson. So the fundamentals of Premiere Pro section one really starts with setting up your folder, creating a project, learning about the project panel first, and then creating sequences and then the timeline panel. Then there's the tools panel section. So you can learn about every single tool inside the software. Learn about the source and program monitors and how to use those. Then I go over effect controls, properties and effects panels, and then other important panels. And then in the actual editing section, I walk through how to edit a video in the timeline. I go over effects and how to use adjustment layers. The color correcting sections are very deep as well. You learn how to color correct and color grade footage. And then a common task for chroma keying that is also in here, how to create captions and graphics. And then there's the audio section where you learn how to mix audio clips together inside your project. And then pretty much everything you need to know about exporting video inside Premiere Pro in that lesson. And then in section three, we have time-saving techniques, popular effects and transitions, dynamic link and media file linking, optimal Premiere Pro preference settings, how to speed up your workflow, an overview using stock templates and assets and tools, how to archive projects, and then a bonus lesson beyond editing, how to grow your video business if you're a small business, or maybe a freelancer, and then updates to this course. So what's really nice is that this course is always evolving. So you know how Premiere Pro comes out with a new version every year, or maybe every three months there's new features or updates. I will be adding on to this course. So if you're concerned like, oh, you buy it now, and then you know the software changes in three years, I will be adding to that very last video to show you some of the updates within the software. And of course, if you ever need any help, you can use the contact form at the bottom of the page. You can also contact me at the top right of the website as well. So that's Premiere Pro Full Throttle. I hope you enjoy it. I know some of you have been asking for it and I hope it helps some of you out there trying to learn the software. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out or leave comments in the comments section below. But otherwise, that's it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.